Aeta is still, Aeta is still in our kitchen today. Hey yeah, guys, you know, so some Aeta is still my dear, my dear. Some Aeta and food, you know, some Rastaman food, my dear. Coconut milk. And I'm about to put the pumpkin. We have, we have garlic and some red peas. A boy right there, so. Oh. About to put the pumpkin inside the pot. And then, pour my um, coconut milk on top. Then I finish cut up my carrot. I don't think I might use the mixed vegetable. I might use some sweet corn. I have some sweet corn. I cut up some beets. And my okra. And mushrooms. You guys. Put some mushrooms in there. So now there is no meat today. Today is a ital dish. Vegetarian dish. Know what I mean? So just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Love and appreciate that. Okay. Cover up this. I'm going to simmer. And then, yeah. Hey guys, also, I'm going to add some seasoning. Some scallion and tomato. And bell pepper, onion. One piece at a time. So, if you season it right. But for now we have a pumpkin I'll go and boil and then pour I wonder which one I cook on my fuse kind of like this one the Thai the Thai um, coconut milk so we'll probably use this one I'm gonna use this one I can put back this oh uh, yeah I just have this with some rice rice guys, now some rice I we'll cooked from yesterday Let's have this with some rice rice and that is it Alright guys, after another 10 minutes of the peas and the pumpkin boiling With the garlic, after 10 minutes I'm gonna go ahead right now I'm putting my carrots My carrots now I saw my skeleton. Now some carrot. I have two stock of skeleton. I'm um, probably three stock at a time. Just put everything in. I didn't chop up the um the skeleton because I don't want it to be. You know when I eat, I eat too much skeleton. Skeleton leaf or skeleton stock, whatever. So I'm just cut them big. Oh yeah, smelling lovely, guys. Could smell that peas and the garlic, and also the pumpkin. I love the smell of pumpkin. There's a story, story right now. I'm gonna let that potato cook. So I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them some. Some nice trim cut. It's gonna take long for it to boil. I'll give that one next 10 minutes and then I cut up my, um, my onion, my bell pepper, and um, the beets. I'm gonna put the beets in right now. Then I'm gonna cut up the beets right now and then I'm gonna leave the mushrooms and the okra for last. So yeah guys, so next time you see me, I'm going to drop you in the onion and yeah, just stay tuned. And please don't forget to like the video.
You guys, I'm just a good show and a cut of Okay, use as many as you like. But if I use too, too much, it's gonna be very, very slimy, guys. So, I like okra. I'm gonna use probably um, probably 12, 12 okra. And they're not that really big. They're the size of like this. Yeah, so 12 of these, and that'll be good. So go ahead and put off the top and the bottom part. And then we chop it up. Put one more in there. Okra is very good for your body, guys. So don't be afraid to cook with okra. Very, very good. Yeah, then give this a star stone. Mm. I smell the aroma, guys. Oh my god. Give it a taste. Mm. Yo, this butter right there, I'm gonna put no seasoning in there. So, yeah, man, we'll put some dash, some all purpose season, a little bit of paprika, and some seasoned salt. I'm not gonna use no salt. No salt will be in this pot because I don't want the rest of them burn me out, you know. So, now we're we'll putting no salt in there at all. Still is me. Ayale. Zayn, what are you doing? Eat some. Come on the eye tag. Alright guys. Alright guys, so I'm showing sure you what know, I'm going to have okra chopped up here so. This amount of okra And my bell pepper, my onion, tomato Use one tomato And my scotch bunny pepper And then, right now I feel like The Irish potato then boil enough for me can Can probably put in my mixed vegetables So I'm going to go ahead I finally decided to use this mixed vegetable, but I also have some sweet corn over here, so, but I don't want it. I just do want to have that sweet, that sweet um, flavor from the corn, which this mixed vegetable doesn't give you that sweet. The corns in here doesn't give you that sweet flavor, but I'm going to use this anyway, so I'm not going to use this. So yeah. put that aside, go ahead and put some of this in my pot. And I already taste it guys, it tastes lovely already. And it's not finished yet, so okay. we'll be generous with the with the mixed vegetable if you like it. Oh yeah. That should be good for me. I don't know if my wife's gonna eat any. Let's see. Well, yeah, guys, a long time and I eat some items too, you know what I mean? This will taste good with some veggie chunks tonight. Who know veggie chunks? Comment down below if you know veggie chunks. Alright. No veggie chunks today, so we have to use mushroom. We have some white sliced mushrooms right here. You know what I'm saying? And then, Caesar pot. So that is it guys. So yeah guys, I am on in the kitchen, you know. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to share and drop some comments down below. What do you have put in your ital stew? You know what I'm saying? Many people cook the ital stew 
some different type of way rasta them cook it different type of way but most important ingredient in the ital stew is coconut milk you can cook your ital stew without coconut milk whether you native coconut or the coconut milk in the can I'm saying main ingredient coconut milk in your ital stew guys so yeah some people put chocha in there we have chocha but we don't put no chocha some people veggie chunks some people put in um, dumpling roll up the flour and it and spinach dumpling but yeah i not going to deal with all of that just have my mushrooms and my okra and then we have some rice what the rice are called and from where I'm tired of the one you name jasmine you know so a beer what the one you name basmati that's what you name I pronounce basmati rice yeah, that one I'm going to do it. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to cook it yesterday and it tastes alright. So I have some more. So I'm going to do it with, with the items still today, guys. So give this video a thumbs up for me, please. Make y'all see. And then i ready to spice up the pot. So y'all don't see what I'm going. So I give this one five minutes for going to boil up. And then. I drop all of my seasoning there, my tomato, my onion, my bell pepper and then I drop my mushrooms and then season the pot and then that is it if my wife feel like eat some or taste it she could have some, it's a lot I think I want to give, introduce Zion to it too because this is very good Zion is a very picky eater guys you know what I'm saying also my wife, my wife doesn't she's not a fan of okra and she's not a fan of mushrooms either so i don't know but to be honest i was introduced by i was introduced to mushrooms from um, a restaurant that i work um, we had mushrooms on the menu and we had to do the mushrooms in all different type of um dishes grill it um french fried mushrooms so i was like oh yeah mushroom tastes good man isn't it so yeah i decided for put mushrooms in on my ital stew today guys so that is it so hey guys you know today i just some ital stew we are dealing with you know me some ital stew ital stew in our kitchen today so i am on my kitchen today highly big up all the rest of them you know what i'm saying and if you add them and see that video you add them just comment down below and let me know what me go wrong or what could I add in I ital stew? I just let me know if I love it overall, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, say, I'm going to put my best foot forward in another one, and I'll be blessed. I'll be so watch it down. I have my mushrooms I'm chopped up right there. I already put my onion and my tomato. And right I'm going to put in the mushrooms on. Mushrooms. I can cut them finer if I want. Oh yeah. That is the amount I'm going to use. And then. This is going to leave that, make that simmer. But first. I'm going to add the season. We got, but first I'm going to add the, um, the powder season. I'm going to add like a dash. Some dash. Use out some dash, some all purple season. Pyre, like a paprika. Like a paprika. Some season salt. Oh, I need two hands to open this. Alright, guys. Skill are down, Missy. Watch out now. Seize the salt. Uh, seize the salt. Also, flavor the pot, guys. Um, I'm saying, I have a little sodium in it, so. 
you know, really I'm gonna need a salt salt just to give it that salty flavor or just to make it not be fresh as some people would say but me personally if I don't have to put salt in my pot I don't put salt in there guys too much salt is not good for you guys salt give your blood pressure and all different type of things so that's why I said I tell still I don't like it no finishing I gotta give this roughly 15 minutes I'm saying last but not least okra and the scotch bonnet I'm saying turn it on let's go ahead give this roughly 15 minutes to cook down guys and then we're gonna so uh, go on yeah guys good vegetarian dish try it guys let me know what y'all think let me know if y'all like it when y'all try it so yeah guys so guys i'm just looking at the fridge i'm gonna notice uh, i'm cooking by uh, them both fit i'm gonna get quail up so let's go ahead and um, blend them up with some ginger i would like like my, my, my cucumber juice guys these type of things get spoiled so quickly so i'll go ahead blend up some ginger ginger and cucumber look at this is it i get quail up Lovely guys. I put the sugar in, so right now I have a lemon. Let's strain the lemon. We also have a lime. Use lemon and lime. Zion and Azura back there playing. Why are you cooking? Give it a taste. Already add ice in there. Mm. Lovely, guys. Very lovely. This in the fridge to go and chill yes baby we're gonna try the ice house too huh 
Empress, what is it? You're gonna try the Aital stew? Yeah, maybe. Alright, so I'm gonna show it looks like Aital stew from Empress. Now I'm gonna give her like just a little bit. Alright guys, so this is my wife's. I just give her a little bit because Hey guys, so my wife is about to taste this. She don't want to be on camera. So, um, yeah. Go ahead and tell me how you think. This is a restaurant dish, isn't it? Don't expect it to be salty or whatever. It's not really salty, guys. I taste it. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? Huh? Huh? Sorry. Right. All right, guys. It's all right. So, me, I got to eat share my food. Yeah. Please keep that thumbs up button, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I tell Steel Zion.